Welcome back, everybody! Welcome back to uh, another crazy thing where I once again forgot to uh, put uh, analog mode on. Whoops. Anyway, hi! Hope you're all having a good day today. I, I don't know what we're doing today. I know we saved Otacon and we uh, ran into Gray Fox. Now we're looking for Mare. Uh, oh, that was so smart. That was very smart, actually. Uh, we're looking for Meryl. I, I figured that part out. And now it's just a matter of how do you get to where we're supposed to go? What is I'm gonna say I'm not supposed to like break that open, am I? Can I go down here? Oh, I can go down there. It's kind of smart, you know, you can just be really stealthy. Don't get spotted by the camera. Don't just walk right into it and be like, oh, hi, I'm here. There's a camera there. How's it going? But I guess the real question now is, where do we go from here? Wow, a ration. I mean, we needed rations. We, we did definitely need some rations. So maybe if we just grab that, and then put the gas mask back on. Night vision goggles? Oh, heck no. <laughs> Not in this environment, no. Uh, so anyway, uh, I will just say, uh, we should hopefully have better video quality in this episode, and epi hopefully episodes going forward. Oh no. Oh no. Because uh, it came to my attention. I, I, You know, I thought, when I got this capture card, I thought... I don't know, I was like, oh man, Exilia 2 looks dark, but like, you know, the game is kind of dark. It's kind of dark. I'm like, okay, no big deal. What do you do? You know? Oh, jeez, I need to get to safety while I still can. So I didn't think much of it. Dawn of the New World, brighter game, and obviously it looked a lot brighter. Naturally. And then comes this game, and I didn't realize this, but apparently when I was looking at the video over, well, when it was Lozy who pointed this out to me, but when he pointed this out to me, I looked at it myself, and I was like, wait a second. That is really dark. Holy crud. That's crazy. Oh no, I'm gonna actually die. I am going to die. It is not going to be good. Uh, okay. That'll work. And then you just open that. Oh, you can't even open that! It's not even the right one. All right, we're, we're gonna make it out. Was I just not even supposed to mess around over there? Was I supposed to just go over here? Oh, brother. That was a... That was a hoot. That was definitely a hoot, all right. So, anyway, uh... We should hopefully have better color. Honestly, even I'm looking at this right now and like... On my TV, it looks a lot like a lighter blue color, but on the OBS, it looks more green. I don't know what's up with that, actually, but... I'm assuming that's correct. Maybe it's just my TV is a little wonky. Anyway, though, yeah, hopefully everything looks a little better. For not just this series, but other series going forward. Next time I record Dawn of the New World, maybe the colors will be a little better there, too. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So that's level five. We need to get... Wait, I remember what we got. Or do I? Do I? <coughs> Wait, do I need a security card to get in the restrooms? Okay. Do I need it, though? I don't. I don't actually need it. Alright. What am I... Was I supposed to... No? Okay, I was gonna say, that'd be kind of messed up, but I mean, you know, where else are you gonna find Meryl? <laughs> Among enemy soldiers. I don't know, man. I actually thought Otacon was kind of implying that earlier, too, and I was like, wait, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Are you playing what I think you're talking about? Cardboard Box B? The classic Cardboard Box, man. Oh, this one's just got a green line on it. Alright. Uh. Oh! Oh! Oh no! I didn't 
think he was actually gonna open the door? <laughs> what? The? You freaking serious? Oh, I have another ration. All right, we're good. We're okay. We got rations, man. Uh, and then use your card to get out of. Oh, hello. Wait. That sounded like not a regular soldier. Am I going crazy? Oh. Oh. Where'd you go? Don't move. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, she wasn't attacking, and I just kind of attacked her. I was like, ugh. And not to mention, the sound was, like, the not right either. I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This Bruh. Is no time to try and hit She's a woman. Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. Why? The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. Oh. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back. And guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Well, Snake is very blunt. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. 
You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that Dang, not functional? worm food. Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. We're upgrading cards so fast. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll okay. be Okay. Follow me. <coughs> She's just rubbing it in. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? There was music. I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? If there was music, it was too quiet for me to notice it. Oh, yeah, maybe I don't. Oh. What are you doing? What? I like I accidentally hit you. I'm sorry. It was an accident. I, I didn't know I could actually hit you. I was just like, uh, hello. What am I doing? What, what's going on here? Do I call uh, uh, Deep Throat? <laughs> I'm gonna call Meryl. No, come on, Meryl. You're supposed to respond. What are you doing? Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Didn't we already Thank go through this? She's quite a woman. As commander of this operation, I can't ask you to watch after Meryl, but... Duty first? Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and... Uh, this feels... Uh... I don't know. I felt like we already had that conversation for some weird reason. Uh, let's go... Hey, Otacon. We found... We found Meryl. Thank God Meryl's okay. She's a tough one, all right. Although when you look at her, it's hard to imagine how tough. It must be the walk. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad she's okay. I also got a key from her. I think I can use it to stop them from launching a nuke. Get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. That's where the detonation code input system is. All right, sounds like a plan. And then let's go ahead and save. It's a good thing you're <coughs> up with Meryl. Yeah. You should have seen the colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, you know, he's, he cares about his family. That's, that's good to see, though. Ain't that right, colonel? Okay. Talk to you later, Snake. Okay, bye bye Uh, this way? I mean, it is a level 5 door, so, yeah, maybe. Maybe, perhaps. What? Why, why'd you have to jump ahead of me? My head! Oh, it hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! Are you okay? Uh, uh. What happened? I'm fine. Yeah, you totally are. You okay. sound fine. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Why does she sound like she has a suit on now? I mean, there's clearly something wrong with her. Okay, then. 
let's go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock the laptop. No, I can't knock the laptop, man. Uh. Oh, no! Herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. I'm gonna use my weapon just for the funnies. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Die! No! Meryl! It's like bad ending. Whoops. <coughs> Snake. Snake! Don't you mean Meryl? Meryl? Meryl! Get it right, man. Get it right. Oh, I gotta redo that? Okay, fine. I'll redo it. It's not a big deal. At least we can skip cutscenes. Do, 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 do. And then you are here, and then. I'm gonna crawl right towards your feet, I guess. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander what? is waiting. I can't skip that? That's weird. Alright, Commander. And now we just wait. Now we wait for the cutscenes to start again. Here we go. Ah! I can't skip this? Oh, now I can. Alright. Say your things and then... Yada, yada, yada. Don't use a weapon. Got it. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Have I knocked you out yet? I'm not using my weapon. Oh jeez, rip. What a rip. Useless woman. Did the camera clip through the ground. Flash, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You You doubt my power. Now I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Am I? Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Your memory is completely clean. Rip. You have saved often. Yes, I have. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as fast as you can. That's good. Now I will move you 
self-control by, by the power of my will alone. Oh. Oh, what's happening? It's moving. It's moving. What do you think now? Can you feel my power now? A demonstration. Dang. Over. That's crazy. He, he knew what he was doing. Oh, what? Hideo? Um. What? <laughs> what? Okay, all right, that's kind of goofy, but anyway, so, uh, I know one thing about this. I, I know one, at least one thing about this. Apparently, when he reads into your soul or whatever, I, I guess, like, he can, well, you know how he's like, oh, you saved often. Well, I guess if you played other Konami games, I guess apparently that can show up in, like, his, um, dialogue so if you played symphony of the night then you'll comment on that i don't know if he comments anything else i just the only one i know about is symphony of the night but that was something i've heard about and obviously i have no way to demonstrate that just because i didn't have symphony of the night save data on this uh playstation 3 playstation 1 memory card but uh you know it is it is what it is right okay so we got some bullets what what am I Why can't I hit him? There has to be more to this than I'm leading okay wait how 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 hey hey cur uh, colonel help me out here That psychomantis former KGB psychic he has powerful telepathic abilities after the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. A master of controlling people. Is that like a... Is there like a hint, hint, nudge, nudge right there that I'm supposed to understand? Okay. What if I hide? Can't find me, I'm just hiding. Oh, ow, okay. I can't even hit the guy, though. Okay, this is not good, because I'm gonna die. I'm going to die with my one ration. How do you hit him? What? what Hideo again? Bro, I'm almost dead. This is crazy. Okay, can I punch him in the face? Is that is that something I can do? Can I punch him in the face? I I can punch him in the face. Is this how I have to beat the guy? Oh, this is stupid. This is actually stupid. I can't do it, man. I hit him once, and I don't even know how I did it. Well, there we go. Alright, I can just whittle his health down little by little with punches, right? We got this. And how do you read my mind exactly? Can I do this? That hit him right in the face and didn't do any damage. Oh, you can just go heck yourself, Psycho Mantis. Snike! Watch out, Snike! 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? We gotta do this again? Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Can I go grab, like, a ration or something first? I mean, I don't know if there's any rations I can grab, but if there is, I'd like to grab one first. Give me a minute. Oh, of course it's all so... <gasps> it's a ration! It's a ration! You love to see it! Missiles, missiles, moss bullets... Okay, Snake, get, get off the wall. You just get, you gotta get off the wall, man. You don't, don't stay in the wall. Am I supposed to use the cardboard box against him? I don't... That doesn't feel like that would be effective, really. <coughs> A what? Anti-anxiety drug temporarily stops involuntary trembling? Uh... Is that something I have to use to beat him? I wonder. Oh, I do wonder indeed. I actually don't really understand what I'm supposed to do to beat him. Maybe I'll just call some of the other people too and be like, all oh, right, like, yeah, uh, Colonel, you didn't help me out. <coughs> and since you didn't help me out, maybe someone, maybe the master will help me out. Maybe. Gotta be, gotta be sure, because you never know until you find out. Gotta make a circle around the desk. So it seems. All right, put him up. Just put them up. And then we take your phone call, and then we drop your phone call. Uh, uh, uh. I just keep punching her very slowly but surely. Oh, are you down yet? Now she's down. Took long enough. All right. And then you are good. I don't like that because I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's actually just messing with me or if he does more with that. A C4 would be pretty cool, right? Okay, so maybe the... Oh, wait a second. No, that wouldn't work. Oh wait, did I pick up a ration in this fight? Is that why? Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would that work? <coughs> Emergency input or override device. Uh... I'm not super clear on what I'm supposed to do still. Okay, I'll take that. Maybe I don't use the FAMAS, maybe I use the SOCOM? Uh... Okay. Maybe, uh, cardboard box? This doesn't feel like the answer to me. Okay, that was smart. Alright. Oh man, he doesn't want to get punched. He really does not want to get punched. Oh no you don't! You just not gonna hit me in the face with that trophy! Hey! Hey, there we go, I made him back up. Got a punch in the face. <coughs> Although it's still not super clear what I'm supposed to do. Is Meryl dying? I can read your mind. Stop doing that. I'm just gonna be okay, hopefully. Maybe if I do that. 
Uh, that didn't help. So if I did that now, can he not sense me? No. Easier said than done. Bro, okay, I said I was gonna talk to somebody, didn't I? Uh, let's go, uh, Mei Ling. Is everything all right, Snake? Not really. I'll go ahead and save the game, I guess, but, uh, nah, everything is not all right. It's most certainly Come not. On, Snake, you can do it. You were so helpful there. What about you? It's true. Your enemy is a powerful telepath. Also, not helpful. Hey, Meryl! Oh, yeah. I forgot. No, I'm just kidding. A psychic soldier, yes. Although they will not admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special ops. Psychics range in power from those who can bend spoons to those who can cause natural disasters. But Psychomantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. Okay, but I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do to beat him. No response. Otacon? Stealth camouflage works by bending the light around the user in such a way that they're rendered nearly invisible. But if you had thermal goggles, you'd be able to see him. What? What are you implying? I can see him. Do I have to use my cigarettes? Oh, brother. If I gotta use cigarettes to fight this guy, that's gonna be fun. Uh, I hit him. Although that seemed like that was a one-time thing. Can you, though? I am not convinced at all what I'm supposed to be doing here. Can I just do this? Bro, I don't know. What are you supposed to do? How do you fight this dude? Alright, I have a cardboard box. You can't... You don't know where I'm at. He doesn't know where I'm at. He wishes he knew. What? Oh, this is a this is just a pain. This is so bad. All right, grenades, grenades and rations. Okay, that was smart. Oh, this is so smart. Making those gaming moves, am I right? Didn't even hit him. Didn't even hit him. What, like, what are you supposed to do? It didn't even hit him. Uh, well, that one hit him, right? I don't see how thermal goggles would actually be able to help in the situation. Okay. Here we go, and then you're gonna get killed. <coughs> well, this is a thing. Snake! I don't know how you beat Psycho Mantis. Mm. <laughs> I like how it's like, everyone's just like, how do you beat Psycho Mantis? Wait, switch the controller ports? I... Uh... How is this gonna work on... PlayStation? Okay, not that. Uh, controller settings? I don't know what that means. 
I don't know what any of that means, actually. Okay, but... Alright, controller can be reassigned. Oh, that's so stupid, actually. This game really knows how to throw you for a loop at times. I mean, if, if changing the controller port is actually a thing I have to do, then that's kind of nuts. I guess we'll see. On, we'll see. We'll take another shot at this. <coughs> Alright, we in. Now the door is closed, so let's do this. And then there you are, and then there you are, running back to the front door. And then you're going, ah, and then you're like, oh. I just the little crouch jump thing. Okay. Alright. This time, we really mean business. I'm gonna be honest, there's no way I was gonna figure this out on my own. If it really is switch to controller port, it's just not gonna happen. I, w I wouldn't figure that out. Also, really, this clip to the floor. Uh, okay, uh, controller settings. Controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. Okay. I've done that, but now I can't move. Uh... Well, this is not good. Uh, controller settings. If I do that again, wait, why am I back on digital? Uh. Okay, maybe now I can do that. Oh my gosh, I can do that. All right, good luck reading my mind now. That's so stupid. The fact that he even says that too is like, yep. Why? Why? Yeah, now he's getting hit. You can't stop me, Psycho Mantis. Oh, jeez, how did I avoid that? Hideo. Alright, can he still not read my mind? Where is he? Where is he? No, he still can't dodge it. Okay, that's good at least. I need them rations, man! Give me them rations! He can't breathe! What a shame. Crazy, isn't it? Uh. Um. Well, this is. Can you turn around, Snake? I just like to beat this dude up. Hello. Disappeared. I was like, no, no, you would throw a thing at me. How dare you? How dare you try? Alright, nope, nope, nope. Die. 
He's almost dead. Psycho Mantis do be going down. Yeah, get, get what? Onto the chair? Interesting. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, you used the other computer. I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I'll read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. Uh, thanks? The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? That's what I wanted to know. I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind What's that wrong? I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed it was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. Mother died in childbirth. Oof. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. Are we? The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. 
Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this, other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. Did it just conveniently slide open just now? Nice. nice. Yeah, let's go. A little too late to be a good guy, I suppose. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Ignore Just that let sound. It make you <laughs> Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? My Your name's Snake. Name. Her name means nothing on the battlefield. My name oh, is old Snake. Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No. I am Snake. Anything. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested. I like in snakes. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. I mean, go. if he enjoys his solitude, let him be, man. Let him be. <coughs> I think in some cases, people plug control and a controller port one. Okay. I think in some cases, people don't mind it. For others, it, it drives us crazy. For some of us, though, it's just like, you know, we're okay with that. We're just okay with that. We even prefer it in a way, you know? Did I... not? There we go. Alright, that's more like it. Uh, I suppose... let's get... Yeah, some rations. I'd love to see it. Dude, the camera shift is so dramatic. Holy cow. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna head outside this door and then we're gonna save. Please don't start another cutscene. I'm worried they're going to start another cutscene. They're going to start another cutscene. Well, that's cool too, I guess. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Oh yeah, I forgot. That was his lore. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. All right, sounds like a plan. But first, we save, and then we call. We'll call this an episode. Snake, you saw the Tan radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I'm sorry. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. It is what it is. But you know what? We're okay in the end. Anyway, everyone, let me know what you thought about Psycho Mantis, and let me know what you thought about uh, well. Finding Meryl and the way we found her, which was kind of interesting because I ended up punching her in the face a couple of times when I ran into her and I was like, 
I was like, wait a second, that sounded like a woman. Was that Meryl? Is that, is that how I'm supposed to find Meryl? And then just like, okay. Because I also noticed she wasn't even attacking either. So that was another thing I noticed. I was like, oh. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So, yeah. But Psycho Mantis was definitely interesting. I mean, I don't know how the average player would just be like, yeah, let me plug it into controller port too. Who's going to think about doing that? Like, really? It's a very interesting boss gimmick, I'll say that, but like, I just don't know who would actually think to do that without looking it up or having prior knowledge about it. I had no clue. That was kind of nuts. Like I knew, like I said, I knew about Psycho Mantis's like mind reading thing, how he reads your memory card and junk, but like I didn't know how you were supposed to beat him. I just didn't know that part. Anyway, that was interesting to say the least. But next episode, we continue on to wherever the heck we're going next. Through the glaciers we go. Time to start dog sledding again. Oh boy, gonna be fun. Anyway, everyone, I'll see you next episode. Bye bye. Hello everyone, you've reached the end of this video, but before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the tier 4, 5, and 6 channel members, Phoenix Edgeworth, Acheron X2, Yellow Cat, and Matthew Kelly. Thank you everyone for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would also like to get shout out at the end of each video and live stream, shout outs are available to all tier 4 and above channel members. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.